time, Friday night, when a group of old broads get together to talk about their week in business. Hope you had a good one too. So it has been an excellent week for us. Um, I think we've achieved a heap. I know I've achieved a heap and I think you did too. Um, I've had a bit of a uh, funny, quietly, bitty week I think is the word. I'm not quite as organised as I normally am. So that will need to be worked on a little bit next week. Well, yeah, like I was saying, you know, going back to using my ClickUp, reorganising my task boards, using that to manage my communication with my subcontractors and my partners and my um, clients, so much yep. better. Yep. I actually feel like I'm, on, I, 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 I'm not on top of things, but I feel like I know where things are. Um, even down to, you know, a bill comes in on my email now and I go immediately and put it into SASU and upload the invoice to it. Yep. I just feel like I'm starting to get, you know, some, some semblance of control back. That's a good way of putting it. Um, I think, but I think you are in control. So when you've got, I mean, there's so much you can't control, but when you've got control of what you can, you are in control. Correct. Mm. But it was getting out of control and it was like, oh, well, I'll just work on this because this is the thing that's yelling at me the most. And that's never a good way to manage anything. No, no, constantly putting out fires. Sometimes the loudest things are the things that you just got to go, well, it's going to have to wait because I've got these other things that once I get those in place, everything else will just fall. Yep. Um, and do what I need it to do. So, have you ever read Stephen Covey? Yes. And the four co- four quadrants. Uh, and yeah, I've read him a long time ago. But it absolutely makes sense. Let's go to the and the one that I always used for people when I was financial counsellor was a toothache. So why don't you go to the dentist when? and get your yearly checkup when it suits you rather than have to go to the doctor and get antibiotics and book into the dentist when you probably can't afford all of it at the one time because you've now got an abscess. So the whole thing is about getting organised and doing stuff before it becomes urgent. Yeah, and it's also about understanding what is urgent and important Yes, versus what is urgent and unimportant. Important. Yep. Um, and I often do that. that that's We get that's very much carried away on stuff like social media and it's important we text back and it's like, actually, it's not. They can wait five minutes. But there's that thing that in our head that says they've messaged us, we need to message them back now. Yeah, yeah. And also I'm um, just feeling that I can say to someone, look, I'm really busy at the moment, I will call you back or this is something we will discuss next week put it in the list you've got access to the task list put it on the task list I don't care if this is something that we don't end up doing we can always just close it off but it's there for both of us to remember that we've got to come back and discuss it Mm. at a time when we can both focus on it and you're not trying to pull my attention off to do that while I'm trying to do all these other things that we've been trying to get done for weeks now and I keep getting distracted so yeah, it's it's but like I said, it's I feel much much better this week. Much more. Um, I'm not going to say I've been feeling bad for the last few weeks, but I've got, certainly got to Friday and gone, oh, what a week. Yep. <laughs> and we've had a few of those. I've had I had thing I think I had like four in a row. Yeah, I think I had four weeks in a row where it was just everything, and I, I kind of got to the end of the week and went, I'm not going to enjoy my weekend because I can't unwind. Um, Because I'm still going to be doing stuff across the weekend to catch up on what I didn't do on the during the week, and that's never a healthy way to be. No, you do actually need to be able to say no. I'm taking today; it's mental health day, and like I said, that's what I did on Monday. It was a public holiday, which was fine. Everyone knew that it was a public holiday, Um, and just being able to say it's a public holiday. I'm taking the day out. Don't call me. Put it all on hold. Um, Yeah, it worked really well. Yeah. Maybe you need to do it more often. Um, I actually was doing that. Like when I in the time I spent in Hawaii, there would be days I'd just message and say, not available today. 
um, and go for a walk or sleep. I mean, there were days that I would just sleep. Mm. <laughs> You've got to sleep sometimes. <laughs> you, um, you're up early, like half past three this morning, doing stuff. Um, so, it's, so a lot of mornings, um, well, I've got to be careful. I mean, I'm, I'm, I generally awake somewhere between 6.30 and 7.30. Um, some mornings I find I will wake between 3 and 4, but those yeah. are the mornings I just roll over and go back to sleep. Um, I think I've, I think we've discussed this before is that, you know, I don't tend to worry that I'm awake. It's like, okay, I'm awake now. <laughs> Let's see if I'm going to go back to sleep. Um, I just don't do anything that engages my brain um, or gets me thinking because once I start thinking, oh, that's, that's the end. I, that's I've history. started for the day. <laughs> I might as well get up and do things. Um, and normally, you know, I might read for a little bit or I might listen to a video or a podcast or something. And then I'll doze back off for a couple of hours and that's fine. That that works really well. But like this morning, I had to speak to one of our subcontractors who's um, out of country and I set the alarm for 3.30 because I knew that's when he'd be on. <laughs> and I did that. So he was a little later than 3.30. Um, so I got sort of, we did that call and then I'm like, now do I stay up now? I thought, no, I'm going to go back to sleep. And I'm glad I did, but it was really broken. It was a really um, broken sleep. Restless, restless couple of hours that I did. And then, of course, you know, the little darling cat <laughs> decided that he wanted his breakfast <laughs> and came and meowed and laid on my forehead and purred in my ear. <laughs> Come on, Mum. Where's food? What food? Come on. <laughs> yeah, just in case you forgot I was here. <laughs> but, yeah, so, yeah, so there are some days I'm up early. Um, you know, at least I'm getting more than five hours sleep now. That's good. Mm -hmm. I think I think for about six years I lived on five hours sleep, four to five oh. hours sleep a night. I was not a well woman. <laughs> no. But once it's I got fine. that sorted out, it's fine. I mean, I, I find I don't even need to do my marathon 10 hours or 11 hour um, stints. So I used to, you know, not sleep, not sleep, not sleep, not sleep, not sleep, or sleep very little. Big, long sleep, little sleep, little sleep, little sleep. <laughs> and now it's not so bad. Now it's, um yeah, more, more regular. It's great. It took me a long time after Brad died because like he was sick for like several months beforehand and I was had alarm set every four hours to wake up and give him medication and stuff and it took me a long time just to get over that just to, yeah to actually sleep longer than like three and a half because your body's it. used to it by that point like you actually yeah. train yourself to do it yep and, um, it was, and that's what I found when once the once um or, or, or my or my physical changes started. <laughs> I hit that particular age <laughs> and my sleep just went. I was actually training myself that, oh, I'm awake, I'll get up. Yep. And I really, I really and truly was wide that's awake. What, what we've done all our life, you know, like and if you wake up. Is, yes. Yeah, and honestly, when you get to that point, you actually need the extra sleep. Okay. You need the rest. Like, I, I just don't know how I would have worked a full-time job doing, going through what I've no. been going through. I wouldn't have. I, I don't think I would. I think, yeah, yeah. I mean, there was a whole heap of other things around that, but that was a major contributor to a lot of things. Yeah. So what else I did? I, oh, well, so we had those problems to um, this week with uh, that, that server we were working on. Um. And I could not work it out, work out what it was. I was looking at all of the, um, uh, the the monitoring and the reporting and the statistics, and it's like I just don't. There's nothing wrong, <laughs> but there was because we couldn't get to the server. But the server saying I'm here and I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I escalated that to the provider who we pay money to to give us twenty four seven um, support. Um, and they looked and they said, 
there's nothing wrong. And I'm like, I know, but look, I can't get to it. And they're like, no, you can't. <laughs> so they went off to have a look at it. And it turns out there was a problem on the infrastructure. It wasn't anything we had done. Something somewhere within the infrastructure had just wow. put itself into a knot. Um, and it wasn't being picked up in the monitoring system. So now I'm like, we want to know why that happened and how we're going to avoid it in the future. But to me, it was really nice just being able to say, this is a problem. I can't fix it. We're paying you. You go look at it now. Come back and give me an answer. And they were so good about it. That's good. Yeah. That's so good. there you go. There's, there's a whole heap of good things. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mum's phone works. <laughs> oh, thank goodness for that. So you got and it all sorted out? Took us, mm, I'd say, nearly three weeks. So you worked out the date of birth? What had happened was that my brother set the phone up for my dad 10 years ago and set it up to come out of the joint credit card. Yes. And obviously it had a – I don't know how the other credit card got through and changed. But, but anyway, so when we finally got – the people that we changed it over to, their front office customer service was dreadful, absolutely terrible, like terrible. And when I threatened the ombudsman, they actually didn't care. Well, they will do when they get their um, fee for – well, that's what I thought too. Roughly. So obviously it was offshore and they have no idea. Anyway, this um, – and remembering that mum's phone's been out now for well over two weeks, so she's gone to golf and she goes out. I've lost her in the shopping centre, like all sorts of stuff. But in the process, I've had all this problem with Optus and my phone keeps going out. So at, at times we've had no phone, like no mobile yeah, between not us. Good at all. Yeah. No. Luckily, mum has a home phone and I don't go out too often. But like I said yesterday, like at 5 a.m. in the morning when I go for my walk, I've actually got no phone and no internet. Yeah. So, and so if I fall I over. We do. Oh, yes. Yes. It's not like I can then ring mum or anybody else for that matter. And, you know, like or if I get hit by a car, it's not like someone can stick my thumb on there and, and ring home. Do you know, there's just a whole yes. heap of stuff around it that's, do you know, well, like... We a, and, rely on as well, a not, um, backup we're not, safety measure. We are, and we're not young. Well, you know, like we're not... No, we're not young. No. no we're heading into that age that we would kind of need, we do fall over. Anyway, so my phone not working and then mum's phone not working. Um was not good so the front of house was so last saturday mum and i sat down to this chat at this front of house for an hour and they promised us it would be fixed by monday morning anyway it wasn't fixed so i got back on there again and i was wasn't rude but i was pretty blunt do you know like i call just, it strident well i just threatened i just said we all go to the ombudsman and it was like well if that's what you feel you need to do do it I'm a financial counsellor. Don't, don't tell me that. It's like, fine. Do you know it's going to cost your company $500? Yeah, just for me to lodge the complaint. Yeah. That's right. Just just for me to lodge the complaint. Anyway, so um, I had to sit back because I was just fuming, absolutely fuming. Anyway, I got a phone call that afternoon and lucky my phone – oh, in the process, my phone wouldn't take calls and I couldn't make calls. So I put a thing through to the – um to Optus and they said you just need to take your sim out and put it back in well that works for whatever reason that works so anyway took it out and put it back in and hadn't been in five minutes and we, I got a phone call oh from this amazing man Mel his name is and he amazing anyway he rang me asked me what the problem was we went through the whole thing and um um Said he'd call, said he was going to call me back. But I tell you what, this man was amazing. We got emails from him at midnight on, not last night, the night before, Wednesday night, to say that he was still up working on it. 
On your problem or mum's problem? Mum's problem, mum's, because mum had moved hers over. So what eventually happened was that the company that mum was with had now moved over to Amazim, which is a new company mum's moving to. So they had taken it with, so that company was part of it. But because mum's credit card was, had needed to be updated and we'd forgotten to do that. And then we couldn't get, get hold of, the company had gone out like it had no more customer service. But luckily it was now part of a mason. So Mel went in and he went, no, we can't we can't do it. He said it actually belongs to someone else and not you. And we verified all the information and all the rest of it. And he said, I'm just moving it all over. He said that there was some money owing on the other account, which is why it wouldn't port and do its stuff. So he fixed it, he waived that for mum and now it's all over. Wonderful. And you've got access to the account? Yes. Oh, no, we've got the new account set up in mum's Fabulous. name. Yeah, that's so what the I mean. next time the credit card rolls over, um, the birth date's all correct and all the rest of it. So all the hassles are now just gone. And he said, that's if you have any more problems, he said, you have my number, call me. I'm glad to hear that. Oh, it was just fan. Yeah, because it was just, mum plays golf three times a week. She needs her, her, um, phone to score because they score on the phone now but she also goes out and she does things and travels and she's a pure independent 87 year old but having that phone means that you know like you can it's ring her and say it's just it's just a safety thing it's a comfort yep. thing I, I totally get it that's yep. why i took my phone out when i go out mm. if something happens if i trip if my, my ankle gets sore if i get hurt yeah, I can I can make a phone call and say help. I can ring an Uber and get home. Correct. Do you know? Like yeah, because anyway. I have actually fallen. Like I've tripped over <gasps> bloody cracks in the um pavement and and taken lumps of skin off of my hands and <gasps> knees and you sort of get home and there's blood everywhere and there's grit everywhere and it's like ah. Oh. How did that happen? Ah, oh, I fall. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm um, in, now in the process, I'm going to move mine over because A, their plans are much better and Optus is just terrible. The customer service is terrible there. Send me their link. Let me have a look at them. Sorry? Tell me who they are and send me a link or something so I can have a look because I'm Ama about to A May Sim. A May Sim. Okay. Yep. So it's going to cost me 30 bucks a month and I get. 10 gigabyte of data. That's pretty good. Unlimited calls to the UK and Canada. That's pretty good. And the US. Um, just, but I can bank my data. So it rolls over for a bit. Yeah. No, forever. My brother's been on it for a while and he, um, oh, excuse me, he goes, he does the, um, on the oil rigs, he does the um, remote thing for the robots on the bottom. Yep, yep. So he quite often heads offshore to do stuff and he headed offshore with 200 gigabytes. Oh, nice. Because it had rolled over and I thought, Oh, do you know, like I don't use mine every month, but I'm paying for it. Yeah, and then there's the months that you do and you end up paying more because you yeah. need more. Yeah. yeah, but it means that like if mum and I might go to Albany at Christmas time or something, whatever, and I want gigabytes or maybe I want to, I think in August, no, yeah, August at some point I'm heading to Bunbury for a weekend, but it means I can take my computer and work on the train. Correct. Oh. Do you know, and it's not going to end up costing me a whole arm and a leg to do it. So anyway, so that was my thinking. Are you done? Oh, are we done, are we? Okay. So I'm gonna, I'm swapping over to them. Only And and I might just message this, this really nice guy, Mel, and say, if it becomes a problem, will you help, please? It sounds good. I'm glad you found someone. Mm. It's nice to actually have a good account manager. Mm. And just someone who... Yeah, it was just really nice. Yeah. Someone who cares. My faith. Someone who yeah. cares, cares enough mm. to just go out of their way to help, mm. which is kind of, you know, when, when you think about how we deal with people, 
it's like yeah someone who like who's like us yes <laughs> yes so I guess when I say my week was bitsy I've dealt with that all week and maybe if you take that out of my week it was actually quite a good week I was, I was actually wondering that when you said that because that would have been the oh I've got to make a phone call oh my phone's not working oh I don't have phone calls I've got to follow that through yep yep do you know like every time you know like with the with the job I do and some of the clients that I've got occasionally I leave the house and it's like but I can still do this away from from my desk but if my phone's not working I can't yep do you know, but you don't know your phone's not working until you're down there and go, I've got no damn internet. Right. So anyway, very, very disappointed in Optus. But from what I can gather, it seems a lot of people are having the same problem with Optus. That's so. Your phones are just falling off the network, basically. Yeah, and then I have to take my SIM out and put it back in. And so it's, yes, re it's resetting a connection somewhere, basically. So, so yesterday the guy said to me, oh, you need to reset your APN on, on my phone, which I did, but it still fell off. So that's not me, that's Optus. Yeah, that is Optus. So anyway, so I'm going to move over too, roll my stuff over. Um, but I, and I think the other thing that annoyed me was that I do prepaid, but I still claim it through my business. Um, but if I want a business account, it has to be postpaid. And I don't want to do postpaid. I want to prepay it. That's on um, Optus. Optus. Yeah. yeah, and now they're requiring you to have direct debit set up. And I'm like, well, no, I don't do direct debit for that. I will pay it when it comes out so that I know when I can pay it. Because yeah. cash flow cash is a thing. Yeah, it's bloody hell it is. And everyone's struggling. Do you know, like, it's not, yeah, I'm just finding at the moment my, not everyone's paying my bills quite as promptly as they used to. Um, well, it and, is also that time of year too because everyone's uh, busy. Um, I'm just trying to think how, because some industries actually slow down so much at the moment that there's no cash flow. Huh? Um, I know when I was running my DVD businesses, um, this time of year was just awful because, People don't. People aren't spending as much. No. Um, I, I I would do basically my annual budget in December. So I'd make all our money in December, and that was it. Basically, mm. the rest of the year was just we'd just skim along. <laughs> That's tricky, isn't it? Oh yeah, and I think we were on twenty percent margin. Like oh yeah, no, it was not a good business model. <laughs> yeah, no. No. But I learned lots doing that, so, you know. <laughs> well, it's I learned right. what I'll never do again. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. And that brings us to the end of Tiffy Time for the week. We hope you've enjoyed the episode and we hope you join us next week. See you later, guys. Bye.